In our previous video, we discussed the process of composting and the basics of how it can be done manually as well as mechanically. Now, there are several different ways of composting among which the Bangalore method is one. Bangalore method is an important question from your exam point of view, so let's try to understand this technique better. To begin with, this is an anaerobic procedure developed by the ICAR or the Indian Council of Agricultural Research at the Indian Institute of Science situated in Bangalore and hence the name. So, what exactly is done in Bangalore method? In the Bangalore method, we first dig pits or trenches depending upon the amount of refuse and night soil to be disposed of. To avoid slow decomposition, avoid trenches having a depth of greater than 3 feet. You might be wondering, can these pits be dug anywhere? Well, this technique specifies that the trenches need to be located at least 800 meters away from the city limits. So, what next after digging the pits? As you can see here, first, a layer of refuse is spread at the bottom over which a layer of night soil is added. Night soil is a term used to refer to human excrement and other bodily wastes that is collected from households and used as a fertilizer for crops. The term has its roots in a time where human waste was collected at night and transported to fields for use as fertilizer during the day. Following this, alternate layers of refuse and night soil are added till the heap rises one foot above the ground level. Always remember, the top layer of this heap should be of refuse which is at least 9 inches in thickness. This heap is then covered with excavated earth and then compacted to prevent fly breeding, entry of rainwater into the pit and for conservation of the release energy. Due to the bacterial action, within 7 days, considerable heat of over 600 degrees Celsius is generated in the compost mass. This intense heat will persist for over 2-3 to three weeks, thus leading to the decomposition of the waste. This is the reason why this procedure, alongside being known as the Bangalore method, is also known as a hot fermentation process. By the end of 6 months, the decomposition is complete and the resulting material is a well decomposed, odorless material with good manurial value. To summarize, this procedure is carried out by digging trenches at least 800 meters away from the city bounds and alternate layers of refuse and night soil are filled in, with the top layer always being the refuse. The heat of over 600 degrees gets generated within a week and by the end of 6 months, we have our decomposed material ready which can also be used as good quality manure. This was all for this video. Hope you have a better understanding of the Bangalore method now. For more such videos, download our app and watch videos seamlessly and learn through visually engaging mind maps. We hope we made public health dentistry slightly better for you. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel and see you guys in the next one.